Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be continuing on with our C Sharp tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how we can work with stacks in C Sharp. Now, stacks are a little bit different than queues, where they are also an ordered, um, they're also an ordered collection of values. However, the stacks conform to the last in, first out, or LIFO, uh, a way of doing things. So the last element you insert will be the first one out when you pop it off the stack. That's the other thing about stacks, is that when we add something to the stack, where if we are pushing it onto the stack. And when we remove it, we're popping it off the stack. So based on that, you can probably already assume uh, how we add and remove items to a stack, but we'll take a look at that here in a second. The first thing we need to do is we need to actually create a stack that we can put items into. And in this case, we're gonna create a stack of names so it'll be strings, stack, capital S-T-A-C-K, and then in angle brackets, put the type that you want to, the type of data you want to store in your stack. So string, and then we're going to call it names, equals a new stack with string inside of angle brackets just like that. So this is a stack. That's how we that's how we declare and initialize our stack. Next, we need to actually add items to the stack. And to do that, we can say names dot push and then we pass it the the uh, item we want to push to the, to the stack. So we'll say Jack names dot push Jane names dot push Beth names dot push Surma and names dot push, let's say, Jade, like that. So now we have a couple names added. We have a few names added to our stack. Now keep in mind what the last item we added to the stack is. The last name we added was Jade. So, when we do our pop, Jade will be the first item to be removed. But first, how do we actually like go in and like loop through our stack? Again, you can do a for each loop. So for each string name in names, Like that. Console dot write line name. Just like that. You can run the code. And now you can see in our console we have all of our names printed out. Now, how do we now how do we remove items from our stack? Well, that's exactly like I mentioned before. We need to pop it off the stack. So names dot pop, like that. And that will remove Jade from the stack. We can loop through the names again for each String name in names, 
console write line name like that. Go ahead and print. Uh, go ahead and run your code again, I mean. And you can see we have, we initially have every name including Jade. However, once we remove Jade via using the pop method, it's gone. And so that is how we can work with a stack. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure you read the documentation to see all the other different things you can do with a stack, but this was just a basic introduction to how we can work with them. We'll see you in the next video.